Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today we're going to color frangipani flowerlets in Copic marker. And I have had these plants, I have never had any idea what they were called, but now I know I am educated and I'm going to be coloring these with the no line coloring method using a very light color ink. You can use any light color ink. Dye inks work best for this because then you don't have to sit and wait for them to dry, which you would have to do with pigment inks. And pigment inks sometimes even afterward they can do a little bit of bleeding. So try it with the lightest kind of dye ink that you have. And I looked the flowers up to see, there's so many different color ranges of them, but I'm gonna do the ones that are yellow on the inside and they're white out at the edges of each of the flowers. But as we've talked about before here on YouTube, that white is only white when it's in comparison to something else. And an, an icy kind of blue or blue green like this will give you that feeling of white even though we've got white paper and that sort of thing, there's nothing behind it that's going to make it look white. So that color sometimes can carry that whiteness with it. And as we get further along, you'll see how that kind of plays in. Now you need to make sure that the blue-green, or if you use a blue, don't let it go too far into the yellow or else you're gonna end up with green in your flowers. Now I did it first with a very light yellow because I knew I was going to do a stronger color. On the flowers themselves, there's a lighter line down the center of each one of the petals and then they kind of have just these little flicks. They don't have blended edges, they have really sharp edges on them. So if you zoom in on a photograph on Google or something, you'll see exactly how those flowers are constructed depending on which colors you're choosing to, to copy to color your friend Japani. And by the way, I'm glad there's a video on YouTube that tells me how to pronounce friend Japani, which is what the lady says in the video. So if you don't know how to pronounce something, look it up on YouTube. <laughs> so here we have the centers of the flowers all done. And then in the very middle of each one is a very dark orange spot. The branch that they're on, since it's not stamped all the way out to the edge and I'm using the no line look, I can make the branch go all the way out to the edge. And what I noticed in photos was that there's brown and green in the stems that go out to the flowerlets. They might get heavier into the brown further on into the plant, but as they get out to these edges, they're gonna be more of a green. So I tested on a piece of scrap to try to find the right green and I thought this YG63 would do a pretty decent job. I realized I had forgotten my little buds, put a little bit of yellow in those, and then let a little of the green carry into the buds because the buds, you know, they still have some green in them because they're not open yet. And then I'm gonna layer some browns on top of the green and that's gonna give them that natural look that looks like the real frangipani plant. And so it's gonna give us also some contrast. Notice how as I'm adding more contrast to the branch, we're getting more of that feeling that those flowers are white. They're, they're getting lighter because of the contrast with the, the darker brown and green colors. And add even a little dark, darker color here with the E57. So now I wanna add something else that's going to give me a little more contrast because there's not enough here for me and I wanna have contrast behind at least one of the flowers. And so I used a darker color than I'd recommend, just so you'd be able to see it. Use the very, very palest kind of a green or blue that you have to draw yourself a rough outline of a leaf. And you can look at the leaves on Google, but they're just a very plain kind of leaf. They have a, a, a vein down the middle and veins that go out to the outside edges. And I'm just gonna put a few of them on one side to try to create some contrast because the white is going to appear stronger white because of contrast with other parts of the picture. And when you're doing it just in Copic marker, rather than drawing it in pencil, you can adjust like this. So I'm gonna add another leaf up here on the top, fattened up the leaf down on the bottom, and can kind of play around with exactly what shape and how large I want them to be, or do I wanna add more? Because I've got that freedom since I'm just doing it in Copic marker. Now the leaves I noticed in the pictures that I was looking at 
one half of the leaf was darker and had really distinct veins. So I'm going to add those distinct veins on half of each one of the, the leaves. Not stressing out about light source or anything. Just wanted to make sure it felt like the leaf that belongs to this plant. And giving these, these lines this way. Now, if your lines are looking like mine, they're looking a little garish. Everything else is looking all soft and delicate. I do have a solution for you, so hang tight. And it's something that I've done a lot before in different different occasions, as well as in the Copic Jumpstart class. So if you have taken that, then you'll know they just go over top of something and you can often smooth out some of those rough edges. So I'm going to just go over them with the lighter color and then add a little bit more into the other half of the leaf as well. And just by adding a couple leaves to the image, look how much more finished it looks and the flowers have much more of a finished look to them as well. The panel I popped up onto some dimensional adhesive and I used the same yellows to create a little lip of color underneath on the card base. So I'd pull a little more of that yellow color into the card. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. There are links in the doobly doo for lots of different things that you might be interested in like supplies and the Copic Jumpstart class. And I hope to see you in another video in the very near future. Have an awesome day. Go make something beautiful.